Your car is without a doubt very dirty. That's okay, that's what car washes are for. Yep. We got a car wash yesterday because it was nice and dirty, but now it's really dirty. And that's because we are now on a trail that we really didn't expect to be on. We had planned to do some mountaineering this morning and that plan completely fell through. The, uh, the top of the mountain was closed. We couldn't actually get to the trail because of the high winds. They must be rocking up there for them to shut that trail down. But it's probably a good thing because, I mean, that is, it's, it's dangerous up there. So, eh, our mountaineering plans, they fell through. We'll have to do that into the future. So for this one, for this day hike, you guys are joining us. I'm Luke, this is Susan. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. We are hitting up Big Lost Cove Trail. Our plan was to go high up in the mountains, do some mountaineering, and we had dressed accordingly for that. But yeah, we don't need all these layers. Supposedly, this trail here is a secret gem. It's supposedly amazing, so we will find out soon enough. Hi, Susie. Hi. How are you? Great. Let's go hiking, and then you can uh, treat me to a late lunch and like to a car wash. Hey, sounds great. The directions to get out here were really poor, but already I like it. I've got to take this jacket off. It's warm. Yeah. It is very warm. We pretty much dress for being at high altitude today. Mm -hmm. And it's probably 50. It's 50. It's not bad. I could probably take this off, but. You look so good though. <laughs> <laughs> now folks, the election, that was wrapped up a couple of weeks ago. And I'm sure that your friends on Facebook are still belittling each other. That's kind of how it goes. So here with the Outdoor Gear Review, we figured that we would give you all a day hike adventure. Something to kind of get away from all that nonsense. Get away from the drama. Yes. The only message we have today is just love. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all try to be adults here. Yeah, that's right. That's all we're going to say. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. Yeah. Good. Hey, you wore black like I did. Ah, black and I got some blue pants on. I have green. <laughs> we're rocking the colors. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. What do you think about this trail so far? I like it so far. Right? It's very enclosed into the woods here. There's not a whole lot to see. It's pretty. Everything here is so dry, folks. We really haven't received rain in a number of months now. Oh, uh, horrible. Yeah. There's wildfires everywhere. This fallen tree here is awesome. Wow. Look at that. That is really cool. Oh man. You got into your butt groove? Oh yeah. Feel that groove? <laughs> Somebody has sat here before. Yeah. We don't know a whole lot about this trail, do we? No, we'd heard of it before, so we started doing some research. It's pretty remote. Um, I don't get the impression that it's well known. Yeah, you can tell by the trail. That there hasn't been many people on it. The leaves aren't even crunched up on the trail. There is one car in the tiny little parking lot down there, so we're definitely not alone. Yeah, so there's one car there. Maybe someone else is hiking here. Right. But we've been told that the view is spectacular. Right. And that's why you have to check this out. So here yeah. we are checking it out. That's why I referred to it earlier as a secret gym because people say that the view up here will just blow your mind. Yeah. It's amazing and this trail is just not that well known. We shall see. I really wish we got to do the mountaineering. I was really looking forward to that, but that's how it goes, right? It's too windy at that altitude. Elevation. Yeah. So, you know, we will try again next week. We're going to keep trying every week. Oh yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> Until we can get up there, but yeah, if they if they close the road, you, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So. It's amazing. Gosh, when you're you're climbing like these faces of these mountains, I mean, it's almost just vertical and oh. you're you're climbing on these wooden ladders just on the edge of these cliffs and you're looking down, I mean, thousands of feet. Yeah, it, it's a little bit Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, it's a trail we did before. I think Luke posted some pictures online when we were out hiking a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, mountains were spectacular. Amazing. And so we wanted to check it out and go back and film, which eventually we will. Yep. Well, you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's All get right. to the top. All right. Yeah. This tree is awesome. It is. I am starving. What about you? I am. Are you? I am starving. My stomach That's is why growling. I asked you. I was like, should we fuel with some tonics? <laughs> We're trying to get to the top. Though, yeah. So. Get to the top and eat. <gasps> My stomach is just rumbling. It sounded like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. Yeah. You know, speaking of bears, somebody posted a picture on Facebook from this general area. Uh, this big old black bear at their back door. Oh yeah, wanting Just like in. hands on the glass, <laughs> wanting in. Now, from what I understand, this is all part of the Pisgah National Forest. So you can camp anywhere you want to out here, which is pretty cool. Right now, there is a fire ban in place. So, no fires. And gosh, it's so dry. It is dry. Yeah, let me check this out. See these leaves? I mean, there's no moisture in that at all. We're behind at this point in the year about 12 inches of rain. What do you think about doing like a hammock camp yeah, I was thinking out here? That. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Go off trail a little bit. Hmm. We just came to uh, a junction here. We have this direction right here, which I don't believe is the right way. And we have this way. Let's see, can, can't actually see my arm, there we go. So what did we find here, Susie? Well, you can see maybe an old logging road. Yeah. Uh, this would be perfect for camping, though. Oh, yeah. And you're right, Susie, this would be a fantastic place yeah. to camp out. I mean, gosh, you could throw up your, your hammock over here, both hammocks, actually. But I think we found a really good spot where we would want to come back and check out. And there he comes. Howdy. I feel lighter on my feet, ladies and gentlemen. He was just scouting around. Yeah, I was just scouting. Okay. Making sure the coast is clear. All right, let's head back. All right, let's go. Because this clearly isn't the trail. That right back there reminds me of something which we should talk about. Even though it is fall and it's getting a little bit colder, ticks are still an issue. Now, ticks don't jump on you. They latch on you from limbs and leaves that are sticking out along the trail, just like this here. So you can see how Susan has to brush up against those leaves. You know, as a deer walks by, those, those ticks will latch onto the leaves and wait for the next target. So yeah, anytime that you're walking through a trail kind of like this, you're touching some brush, some leaves, check yourself after you come through. Now folks, this is what we call Fun Fridays. On Fun Fridays, Susan and I, we get out, we hike, and then we go out and have an awesome meal afterwards. <laughs> and today it's gonna be Burger Fridays, woohoo! Woo my favorite day of the week. Yes, love it. It's pretty funny because I tell the kids, I'm like, mom's taking the day off. And they're always a little bit like, what do you mean you're taking the day off? <laughs> <laughs> we can't survive without mom. <laughs> and I'm like, later. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, we are so blessed to be able to get out to enjoy the forest like this. We noticed how thick the forest is. Oh yeah, it's like a jungle, isn't it? It's really thick. Yeah. I mean, imagine folks having to try to make your way through this. It'd be very, very difficult. Think back to the days of Daniel Boone, which Daniel Boone did come through this area here. That's why it took so much work. That's why it took so long. It's not like you could just hike through the woods, sadly. <laughs> yeah, he didn't exactly have this trail to hike on. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. I'm seeing some rocks up here. What do you think about heading through the woods and checking them out, hon? Yeah. You want to? Yeah. All right. Can we get through? Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Check this out, I folks. That. Yeah. Gigantic rock outcropping. We'll go check that out in just a second. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Very cool. Yeah. Now, folks, if you're not good with navigation, if you're only good on the trail, do not go off trail ever. <laughs> this is pretty neat because there's these trees growing right on top of this rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. These gigantic rock outcroppings are awesome. They are very, very cool. You know, like if I would camp here, the Native Americans would have camped here too. I bet you if you came out here with a rake, a really good one, started pulling back some of the soil, you could possibly find arrowheads. This place offers you great shelter from the rain, the snow, and the wind. I'm glad we found it. Yeah. When we started heading out this way to, to find this trail, we weren't really sure where we were headed exactly. But uh, as soon as we pulled on to whatever stone road is, I'm not sure what they meant by that. Uh, you know, it came to me that I've been here before. I've been here about seven years ago or so. And this is a place that I've gotten lost at. Not this trail, a different trail further down. But it was after a big ice storm and the trails, the trees were decimated by heavy ice, tons of fallen trees, lots of limbs. So I had followed this trail down a ways and then I couldn't figure out how to get back on that trail. I couldn't figure out how to get with my way back up the mountain because the, the trails were too covered. Uh, that was a uh, intense moment. <laughs> oh yeah, you came out to, to hike to the waterfalls right. for pictures and stuff? Yep. Oh yeah, I remember that. I had found this amazing waterfall and basically turned around to come back and I couldn't find the trail. So man, you know, my heart's kind of racing after I'm realizing it. Yeah, I am definitely lost. But I took a knee, took a couple breaths, kind of figured out, okay, think things through logically. I came down from the north down to the south on this trail. I figured that if I headed through the woods to the north, I'd break back through and I did. I never did actually find the trail again. I ended up coming out on the road that I was on and had to backtrack about, I don't know, a quarter mile to get back to my car. We will have to go find that trail. There is a uh, house on this trail, actually. It's really, it's really strange. It's in the middle of nowhere. Abandoned or? Oh yeah, it's abandoned. Huh. And there's not even a road to it. I'm not entirely sure what its purpose was, why it was there. It'd make for a good adventure. We're coming up on top of this ridge now, and out here to the east, southeast, starting to open up some. The camera probably doesn't do a good job of showing that off, but. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna get better as soon as there's a nice opening, which I assume there is up here. We shall see. That's cool. I think we definitely need to come camping out here. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, even this would be a good spot. Right. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This whoa. might be it. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Check that out, guys. What do you think about that? It's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, we must be getting close. I think so. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. That is awesome. Very cool. Gosh, I have to be honest with you all, folks. I hate heights. <laughs> I hate being on rocky ledges and stuff like that. I like mountaineering when it's over, not while doing it. <laughs> but it's one of those things where you just, for me, I kind of face my fear of heights. I just do it, get it out of the way, because I'm not gonna let anything hold me back.
Okay. Because you insist on spoiling me with burgers. I will spoil her with burgers and coffee. And maybe pie if I'm good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our uh, favorite burger place, the last time that we were there, we had some burgers, went out hiking, and we came back for some coffee and pie. And it was right before they closed, and it ended up just giving us like a whole bunch of pie. Yeah, so, we were just gonna like share a piece, and yeah. be all good, mm -hmm. you know. Gosh, that was awesome. And they're just like, here you go, and we're like, oh, oh wow. Okay. It's time for a snack and some coffee. We'll even chit chat for a little bit. On my iPhone here, I don't know if this is available for Android, but there's a an app called All Trails. And it's pretty great because like you can find trails in your area. You can also find directions to those trails. It's really cool. Um, so the trail that we are on here is called the Big Lost Cove Cliffs Trail. It is 3.3 miles. It is lightly trafficked. That's a hard word to say. Say that. What? Trafficked. Tra lightly traf trafficked. Traf trafficked. I could use a shot of coffee. I think I could use a little fuel. So bring me the coffee. I wish I knew what the f was doing. Uh, over there? For what? Oh. Okay, so we're going to share some trail mix and some coffee. Thank you. Uh huh. Can we take that here? I'm getting cold now. I'm about to put my jacket on. <laughs> hmm. I hear people. Sounds like we got hikers coming in. I guess that means it's time to uh, hike. What do you guys think? Susie was just asking me if I'm going to do the creeper trail this year. I don't know. What do you think, hon? I don't know. I People have been emailing in asking. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They demand it. Hmm. I'm not what do you sure. guys think? Not yeah, sure. do you guys want to see the creeper trail hike 34 miles? We can do it if you guys want to. You know, I, I like doing the creeper walk, but gosh, it is hard on your body. Hard on you. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, 12, 15 miles, that's a, that's a long walk. 34 miles in 12 hours is, that's pretty insane. The thing is, is that, gosh, I'm getting older. <laughs> I feel all this stuff more and more than I used to. Now, Susan and I, we just passed some hikers. That was apparently the individuals in the other car. They said that the view down here is amazing, but to hold on because it is incredibly windy. Make sure not to get blown off the mountain sort of thing. Yeah. That's pretty much why the other trail, the mountaineering, that trip was canceled. Just way too windy. The wind. Yeah. What do you see, Susie? Look over there. Hmm. Let's that, check it out. Yeah, is that just a pile of rocks? Or is that like a fire, fire pit? pit? Let's go check. Let's go. Needs to be dug out a little bit. Yeah, it does. That's, that's sweet. What do you guys think? I want to come back and camp here. I'm really seeing our next camping trip. Agreed. Right here in bear country. I've seen some of the biggest black bears out this yeah. direction. Yeah, yeah. And if I can't come, I, I, I know Lucas would love oh, yeah. to come out here. Yep. Although I really want to come. <laughs> Heck yeah. I've been thinking about doing a uh, hammock camp. Yeah. Yeah. I know you guys want to see that sort of stuff. You guys love hammocks. Some of you do. All we have to do really, well, either we can come out here and not have a fire because it's just, you'd be, well, you'd yeah, have to be insane not, to have a fire right now. That's not going to happen. Yep. But you can still bring your stove yeah. and cook and right. do all that, right? Yep. Check out this tree here. When it had bark on it, the uh, termites came through and dug this out ate these paths. Isn't that neat? <laughs> <laughs> this thing splits off about a million different ways. I'm going to go, well, you want to go check this out real quick? Just see what's over here? This is the way that we need to go, though. We've got to go that way, but yeah, we always go check out stuff. Oh, awesome. So they really encourage camping. Oh, yeah. I, I love it here in the Pisgah National Forest. You can camp anywhere you want to. big fire pit. Gosh, that's a nice one. That's a big one. Oh, they put some thought into that. Yeah. You want to go camping, don't you? 
Yeah, I see another trail we gotta go. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's go see what's over here. I tell you what, I'm going to give Susan this camera and I'm going to put on the GoPro. Okay. So we'll just try this out, see how well the quality is. I don't know. So you guys could see what I see when coming out of the thicket here on top of this cliff. Okay. You ready? Go. This might be slick. Wow. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. This place is awesome, guys. Apparently the, uh, the word has gotten out about this hiking trail. We've seen a couple more people hiking in. Honey, this is magnificent. <laughs> this is awesome. What do you think about heading over to this side over here? Like there's an incredible drop off. Where? Basically where I jumped down at. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh yes. On the edge of the world, my friends. Check this out. I'm only I'm only gonna go up here for just one second. Makes me want to puke. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Holy 
pull you back away. <laughs> Gosh, that was windy. Hopefully you guys could see that. I mean, it goes way down hundreds and hundreds of feet. This is pretty much why it was closed off the mountain that we were going to climb today. The wind's got to be gusting up to probably about 50 miles an hour. Whew. Woo. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. Well, it is time to go uphill a good um, ways. Yes. Yep. And since you guys have already seen this, time to put up the camera, do this rather quickly. It is burger time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we will bring you guys back when we get to the car. Yep. Yeah. We're just going to truck it out of here. <laughs> That's it. All right. Ooh, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. Mr. Nicopolis, love. Yes. You look good with the GoPro. Oh, do I? On your noggin. Yeah, I think. Are we done with this? Yep. So I can take it off. Take it off. Be interesting to see how that footage turns out. Yeah, agreed. We've never really used it. Very little. Now, folks, look at all those cars over there. We were told that this is the trail that nobody knows about. It's not true. This People. is the trail that. A lot of people know about. People clearly know about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might be remote. It might be hard to get to. Directions are not that great, but clearly people know about it. Yeah. And Without a doubt, we're coming back to camp here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because this place is cool. That was a lot of fun. Good job, babe. That was so much fun. Good job. Good yeah. thinking. Quick thinking. All right, everybody. Well, it is time to get out of here. It's time to go half Burger Fridays. Woohoo! That is going to be awesome. Burger Fridays. Yeah. Do your woohoo for me. Woohoo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Guys, everybody, thank you all very much for joining us for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Until next time, take care. Strength and honor. <laughs>